After preschool, I attended Morris Elementary in Sports Creek, Michigan. I learned a lot during these six years I was here, mostly life skills that I still use to this day, such as good communication. I remember some of my favorite teachers from Morris. One of them was Mrs. Camo. She was my second grade teacher, and she is one of the reasons I would want to become a teacher myself. I always enjoyed going to her class every day, and I loved how her classroom was decorated. I also had another favorite teacher during elementary school, and her name was Mrs. Pichowski. During February 2012, I experienced a big loss in my family. My grandma, best friend, and second mom, all wrapped up into one person, had passed away. This was very heartbreaking for my family and I. I was in fourth grade during this time, and my teacher was Mrs. Pichowski. She would let me sit in her class with her during lunch and recess so I could talk to her about my feelings. She always gave me constant reassurance and hugs when I needed it. This relates to the teacher I want to be, since I knew how much of an impact it had on my life. I attended Swartz Creek Middle School for grades 6 through 8. I had good teachers that taught me good lessons. During these years, I got better at comprehending when I read, which I was very grateful for because I struggled a lot up until this moment. My school had a decent amount of students, but everyone still knew everyone, which made the change from elementary to middle school a lot easier. Every summer, I attend a camp in Howell, Michigan. They have a nursery where parents can drop off their babies while they attend church. I started volunteering here when I was in 7th grade, and I still do to this day. When I was in 10th grade, some of the regular volunteers started to not show up anymore. Then I was promoted to the head volunteer position, so I would watch the babies while overseeing all the other volunteers. This was a big step for me. I got to do something I really enjoy, plus it gave me good experience working with kids of all ages. For freshman through senior year, I attended Swartz Creek High School. It wasn't my favorite years, but I still made the most out of it. During my sophomore year, I was taking an English class, and I was... I had a teacher named Mrs. Robinson. I ended up having her again for my English junior year. I didn't think much of her at the beginning of the year, but then I slowly changed as the year progressed. Her and I became, began a super close bond, which I still talk to her often. She helped me when I was struggling in the classroom and outside of the classroom as well. She improved my high school experience tremendously. I always mentioned to her that I wanted to become a teacher, and she supported me constantly even though people would try to discourage me from being a teacher. During freshman year, I joined the girls lacrosse team, even though I had never picked up a stick before. I ended up making varsity right away. This ended up being the best choice I had made in high school. I met so many of my good friends on my team. Freshman year, I was the underdog and never got playing time. Sophomore year, I started to improve my skills, but then junior year, season was canceled due to COVID. Senior year, I put in the work. I was one of the team captains and I was never off the field. I really enjoyed being the team captain because I got to have a say in our decisions and I got to call the plays on the field. My freshman lacrosse coaches got fired early on in 2020, but I didn't realize this was the best thing for our team. We got three new coaches, two of them had a daughter that played on the team, and another one was a former player. We had a great season. I always look forward to practices and games. My three coaches taught me a lot during the one season I had them. They taught me how to bond with my team and be a team player on and off the field, as well as time management, which I still use now. March 2020, we all experienced the COVID shutdown. This was very mentally draining for me because I enjoy going out and hanging out with my friends. Although it got me very close to my family. During quarantine, I started to get sick of my family since I was with them so often. I made a decision that I wanted to move away for college because originally I had planned on staying home and going to a college near me. During this time, I discovered what I needed to do in order to find myself and step out of my comfort zone. I did lots of research and CMU was one of my top options. Throughout elementary, middle, and high school, most of my teachers always mentioned that they attended CMU, which sparked an interest in me because if CMU contributed to them being such great teachers, I know it can do the same for me. 
CMU was the perfect distance from home and it had a nice centralized campus, which was a great perk. Every time I was comparing colleges during my decision-making process, I would constantly go back to CMU, and that's when I knew it was the right fit for me. My future educational goals are graduating from CMU with a bachelor's in elementary education, as well as getting A's and B's in all my classes. After I get my bachelor's, and I will reflect and see if I want to further my education anymore. My future goals are by fall 2025, I would want to have a secure job as an elementary school teacher. One or two years later, I would like to move into a house that is near, but not in, my hometown. I would also want to have a family as my own, of my own. Lastly, I would love to own a traveling thrift store and a renovated school bus. I would take it to different places during the summertime months I have off teaching.